Hi, my name is Zoe. I am a financial coach. Welcome back to my channel and those who are new, welcome. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking that red subscribe button. Today, I come before you to tell you my dead review story. So it was in 2019 when I was staying in a two bedroom apartment, which was going for 5,800 rands. But after the water and the electricity and everything else, I ended up paying close to 8,000 rands or 7,000 rands per month. And that for me was a lot because at that time I also still had the car for which I was paying six to 7,000 rands as well. And I did not have a side hustle at that time. So it was a lot and I had a baby. So everything was just too expensive and I felt like I was over indebted because I couldn't just break the lease. You know how leases go. You have to stay until the end of the lease or you're going to be liable for the remaining months or whatever the lease agreement says. So I called Debt Busters and I spoke to them because remember going under debt review is a voluntary process. So I called them and I spoke to them and I told them that I was over indebted and then they asked for my documents, that being my pay slip, my three months banking uh, statements and everything. And they assessed everything after the assess assessment. They agreed that I was indeed over indebted. So what they did is they uh, contacted my creditors or the people that I was owing at that time so that they could lower my installment and my interest rate, which they did, which was great. And that worked for me at that time. I did not have the full information of what I was doing because I didn't know that that would mean that I wouldn't be able to take up any credit at all. And that getting out of debt reviews actually amounted, it's a heel. It's not as easy as going under debt review is. So I stayed under debt review for a while. Um, I stayed with debt busters for a while. They would take money from my account and then pay my creditors on my behalf and then obviously pay themselves for doing that job because that is a job that they were doing for me. But after a while, I realized that that is, it's, I felt like it was just a lot. So I decided to cancel my services with dead bats with dead busters so that I can pay my creditors myself. So that, that's what I was doing. And I tried to pay more than what I was supposed to be paying. So for example, the car installment went from six or 7,000 rands to 2,700 rands. That's what I was supposed to be paying every month. And so I was paying that and then I was able to pay for rent and everything until eventually my lease um, came to an end and I was able to move to a more affordable place. Okay, so while I was under debt review, I realized that there's actually more doors that were closed because I was under debt review. It's not just the inability to take any more credit from something as little as wanting to buy a cell phone on a contract, from something as little as wanting to get a SIM card contract for data. I couldn't, I couldn't do any of that because I was under debt review. And also I was not able to apply for, I was not able to apply for things like, um, since I have a business for funding from the NYDA, it's one of the clauses that they have that you have to be a person that is not under debt review to apply for um, funding with them. I was not able to apply for things like that. Um, I did my course in debt counseling, but I was not able to register because I had to be out of debt review. So it doesn't, it doesn't just stop you from taking out credit, but it closes so many other doors. When you're looking for a place to stay, to rent, if you're under debt review, you have to provide sort of like proof that you'll be able to pay for rent or some people just don't take people that are under debt review to rent their places. So it closes so many doors and those are things that I didn't know when I was going into debt review. So obviously I was not able to decrease my expenses further than what the debt review had done for me because I had a lot of responsibilities, which I still do. So what I decided to do was um, to start something that can help me to earn extra cash. And so I did that. I did little things like a clothing brand, made money from that for a while. I did um, 
a tutoring company, which is what is still working now. And because of that tutoring company, I was able to set a goal to say that I am getting out of debt review. And so I was using that money to pay more than what I was supposed to be paying. So the installment um, for the loan that I had for the car, it was 2,700 rands. And so what I did, I also had a credit card that I put under debt review. I paid off the credit card first, I closed that. And then after that, I was left with just that loan for the car. And so what I did was instead of paying 2,700 rands, I would pay between 8,000 to 12,000 rands, depending on how much I had that month. Because when I was left with three years to finish paying off that um, debt, I decided that I'm going to finish paying it in six months. And so that is what I was doing. So in the last month of those six months that I had set uh, for myself as a goal to finish paying off this debt, I called the creditors that I was owing, the people that had given me the, the loan for the car, and I asked what we call a settlement discount. The balance on that account was 30000 somewhere around there. So when I called and asked for a settlement discount, they gave me a 30% discount. So instead of paying 30 something thousand, I ended up paying 23,000 rands. And that is the final amount that I paid. So what I'm trying to say to you is that when you want to finish paying it off, you call them and you ask for a settlement discount so that you don't have to pay the whole thing. You just pay a portion of it and then you're done with your debt. So once I paid it off in December last year, I decided that I should call Debtbusters so that I could ask for the clearance certificates. That is the procedure. Once you've paid up all the debts that you put under debt review, you call the, the debt counselor that got you under debt review and you ask for what we call a clearance certificate by giving them paid up letters to say that you have paid up all of the debts that you had. So I did that. I called them um, on the 13th of January and I sent my paid up letters and then on the 15th of January they sent me the clearance certificates they did not give me any hassles any problems like you know any outstanding fees or anything like that even though I had cancelled my services with them after they negotiated my installment and my interest for me with the creditors so uh, on the 15th they sent me my clearance certificates and then they, as the debt counselors, they spoke to my creditors as well and to the credit bureaus to alert them that I've paid off all of my debts so that they could remove the flag of being under debt review from my name. And they did that. And by the 23rd of January, I was able to check if the flag was removed from my name. Unfortunately, there's no way of checking from my side whether the flag is still on my name or not. But when I called um, a certain company to ask for credit for something, they were able to give me that credit, which meant that, or to approve that credit for me, which meant that there was no longer a debt review flag under my name. So within six months, I was able to pay all of my debt. And then within a space of a week, I was able to get out of debt review. So please check out this video that I have uh, for did review explained because you need to know what you're getting yourself into before you go under debt review. Yes, it is not recommended, but sometimes we find ourselves being in a situation where we have to go under debt review. So before you do that, please watch this video so that you know what you're getting yourself into. And also remember what I said at the beginning of this video, that it closes so many doors, not just taking out credit, but things like applying for things, uh, be it funding, be it studying, be it looking for a place, depending on what you study, on what you want to study, looking for a place to rent and everything. It closes so many doors for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please do feel free to comment down below.